And yes, it's Zeke here again today to bring you another episode of Let's Play XCOM 2. I'm now kind of regretting not being all legendary. Either way, I know I could change it, but I want to play through on like one difficulty. You know how it is. You know how it is. So I have um, equipped my whole squad. I am going back out with a three sniper squad, but this time I am bringing um, Gauche, you know, in order to bring all my highest ranked guys in order to try to get a goddamn promotion. Um, I have my Talon Rounds, I have my Mimic Beacon, I have my Gas Grenade, both on um, Ren White here, and I actually promised a redesign. Uh, for I, I like to keep the genders the same for no reason at all, pretty much, but I'm actually going to change, not, not this name, I'm going to change this um, character into a male, because... Day is a male and apparently looks very, very much. Oh, Jesus, that's actually a pretty badass look right away. I like it. But um, either way, he apparently looks considerably like me. So let's um take some of these props off here. Uh, let's go none. And where's the lower face prop? Where's the lower face prop? There it is. There we go. Take that off. So I have to turn you into a white man, I'm afraid. I'm, I'm not really afraid, but then I have to um, make sure you have the right hair. I think that's close enough. I have a thicker ponytail than that, but, you know, maybe not everybody does. Yeah, a blues ponytail thick. Um, definitely not that face. I kind of have um, the face kind of like F, but with a bigger nose. I tend to have a fairly gigantic nose. I'll go with F. Um, oh man, I forget what colors you wanted. You know, I'll at least design them to look like me. I'll go with props. Uh, upper face prop. Need my hippie sunglasses. All right. And you know, oh, you can't, um, you're not a high enough rank to actually get, oh, you're a corporal. I thought you might have the advanced armor patterns now. Main armor color. Let's go with like a let's go with like a bright ass red here. You know, match your outfit. And secondary armor color, what goes with red? What is on the other side of the color wheel of red is what I should really be asking. Yellow, I think, maybe? There we go. Like a badass. I like the squad. I have a lot of red in it, but you know, I can appreciate a lot of red. And I really like Drag Gosh's look. I know it's just somebody else's Nightcrawler, but I still appreciate it. Let's launch this motherfucker. Let's burn this motherfucker to the ground. It's like they say in France. <laughs> um, I, I kind of ruined the joke by doing it in reverse order. I was gonna say, it's like they say in France, let's burn this motherfucker to the ground. I guess I could always go, it's just like we say in France. Eiffel Tower baguette. Oh. <laughs> oh, shut up. I'm French. I can say whatever I want. And, you know, just the fact that it's a tiny bit bigoted doesn't stop everyone else from making fun of the French anyways, so. Just saying. I, well, maybe that's not true everywhere, but, um... In Canada, at least, there are a lot of people who are incredibly, like, anti-French in every way, shape, or form. The disabled advent convoy is just ahead. Engage and eliminate all hostile forces. Okay, so starting out, I need to... Why did they start Ren in the back? This makes no fucking sense. That is a bad tactical decision. Ren should be the first one out of the plane. Okay, so that is the um, Long War version of um, the Muton, which I have added because I'm an idiot. Uh, fortunately, I do have some high ground here that I can kind of like get Kareem Rodney behind and maybe also Misty. Yeah. They have shit tons of armor. Um, you pretty much need to shred it. I'm kind of regretting the fact that I put the gas grenade on de on um, Ren there, because I would much rather have the gas grenade on somebody who does not have like the scouting concealment. And Day, you just stand up here as well, because why not, right? 
There, there's no reason not to. So many snipers. Causing so many problems. And there's not enough rounds to go round. Uh, rounds to go round. You spin me right rounds, baby, right rounds. What, you're, you're just lighting yourself on fire? Did you start in the fire? I think they started in the fire. That's really funny. Now, I hear me some mechs. And I'm almost certain that I hear me some me mechs from this direction, so I'm going to check that out with Kareem, and hopefully not. Okay, no, I no, I don't. That's good. Need to get some good line of sight here. Um... Ren, you move here first. I just want to get vision on these guys again. No vision available. Spotted! We're here. Oh god, um, huh. Unideal! Okay, at least there's only one guy for me to focus on. Because Nightcrawler here can just move up and throw a grenade at... Like, the, the sectoids aren't a big deal. The sectoids are the opposite of a big deal. Oh, God. The light post is blocking the one place I can fucking place this grenade. What do I have? 87, 67. I gotta take these, like, 67 shots here, right? I need to shred. Like, the, the shot that I need to take is right there. And that is unblow upable, I think. The mimic beacon isn't even going to work. Okay, I've got to take both shots at this guy, no matter what, unfortunately. One damage missed. Apparently you have a stock. I like that. Should I try for a kill instead? I think I maybe should. You know, just make my whole... Se like, I'm not killing that guy. It's only worth worth focusing him down if I, if I kill him. Are you the one on fire? And you should actually aid protocol. Yeah. He maybe should, um, Dreg here maybe should have aid protocoled himself. I do have medkits though. I do have lots of things going for me. I even have one of these sectoids on fire, meaning they can't use any skills, so they're gonna fire at me instead. And that's maybe not a good thing. Yeah, okay, the miss. Okay. Fire. So far, so good. This guy's not on fire, so he's probably going to try something like a... Like a reanimate... He can't reanimate anybody, so mind control? Mind controlled? Mind controlled Misty. Fortunately, he has one health left, and Day has a stock. So, this is going to be an easy time. That's their whole turn. He's in my... I can't, can't stop hey, it. Day, I got a job for you. First of all, just fucking kill this guy straight up. Well, actually, that's your whole job, so... It didn't matter if, matter if he hit or miss there. I like that a lot. I can't even tell how much damage he did because the damage bugged out. You know, as it tends to. On occasion, did this light post burn down? No, it didn't. So, since that light post did not burn down, I'm going to go ahead and hide behind it. Problem, Seems like a good idea. There's a lot of vehicles on fire here. 71% chance to hit. Might as well take it. Can't really do anything else right now. Okay, absolute miss. So let's start with uh, lightning hands here. Try to get this kill with Kareem. I'd really like to fire with Misty at the um, 
Muton, maybe after I shred it even? I wish I had not installed that mod, but I can't actually disable it and still play the same save games. Okay, so he's the least risk. But he's the most killable. Let's throw that gas grenade in here. Can't, can't hit both of them, but I really do want to shred and, um, shred and disable this guy. So the poison is definitely worth it. Is it, killing an enemy at higher ground does not take up her whole turn. Let's, let's try for the kill. Misty, I'm counting on you here. Okay. Faith, um, faith affirmed, I guess. So that's good. Now you have the death from above perk. You can't take a second shot with your sniper, unfortunately. But you can, um... You can just uh, pistol overwatch. You see I have the overwatch all option down there now. That is from another mod. I'm willing to take utility mods and mods that, like, XCOM itself approves of. Well, and, um, and appearance mods, which is all that I have installed right now. That's why I have all those camo packs. And a few new hats. Ah! I thought I heard that. Rumors Advent might be rolling out a heavy infantry armor system. Looks pretty tough. Okay, he's just overwatching. That is fine with me. So, Drag. Um, I think you need to hide behind this tree. Oh, there's an Overwatch. Uh, he is poisoned, though. Eesh. That sucks a lot. Okay, this Haywire Protocol, though, should function. I'm going to see if I can actually take control here. If it's over 70%, I'm going to. I'm going to try, I mean. Because that would be incredibly worth it. 50% chance. Okay, I think I'm going to actually stun him then. Because oh, would that would have made it hardcore, but you never know. Okay, so Cream is or er, Cream Rodney's in a bit of a spot here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna move him forward. I'm gonna move him into here. And then use a grenade, maybe in order to make that guy fall, or in order to shred some of that heavy infantry's armor. All I can do is get rid of their cover. Which may be worth it. Especially if I do this too. Oh, 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 whoa, oh, okay. Go on. Right there. Okay, didn't shred his armor. I did not even fucking get the hit. Um, hmm. I need this guy dead. So I'm not in cover. I'm not, um, I'm not hidden. But you need to die hardcore. You have a 73% chance of critting. This could very well get the kill. There we go. 10 damage. Super easy. Badass. Okay, now I can just focus all my attention elsewhere, right? Day does not have a shot. Then I'm going to take this 93 here. Um, this is minus 20% chance to hit, so I think I just have to take the 93 and hope. Did I not reload last time with you when you had your extra... No, I overwatched like an idiot. <sighs> well, I'm going to take the sniper shot anyways. So it did a lot of damage. Um, I only have two guys to deal with there, and I am behind good cover from that angle. But I think maybe the best idea is to come down here and take a pistol shot okay. with Day. He does have return fire, and he does present a target from down here, which, believe it or not, I actually like. And that does bring a grenade into range of these guys. Okay, it didn't work out, but, you know, not everything has to. 
Shit happens sometimes. Still shut down. This guy will be very easy to take out with one turn of like sustained fire. Ah, he's a shield bearer. I thought he was just an armored infantry unit. I did not know that. Okay, so lovely miss, and that was their entire turn. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually going to reconceal Ren. Now you see me. And try to get some good vision up here and make sure that they don't have um an extra unit that I'm gonna be that I'm gonna be running into with everybody. Hmm. So actually head up here. To position. That should be fine. Okay, so I do see another squad. As long as I don't get vision on them, I should be fine. Do I want to blow up his cover? I think I might. Okay, that takes away his entire um, shield that the shield bearer gave him. Then the juggernaut. Um, should really go for that 57% chance to hit this guy here. Kareem! Yeah! Okay. Death to the shield bearer. Lovely. And then, you only have the one shot, so you might as well take it, right? Like, there's no point in not. Five and two. And what does Misty have for us? Oh yeah, Misty has like nothing, because I'm an idiot. Misty at least has a pistol shot for now. No, no, fire, fire pistol. 100%, take it. You still do have the Talon rounds for the crit. No, no crit damage, no crit. Well, that was kind of a waste of a grenade in that case. That guy's back online. And he gets to move this turn. I maybe should have tried harder to take him out. Because he's probably going to micro-missile the shit out of my guys here. And that takes out all their cover. This guy is going to take a shot at Misty because he's an idiot. Okay, that's all right, Misty, you can manage. The other guys couldn't manage so much. No, oh, don't worry, you're not that bad. Nightcrawler, Ghost, you're having more issues, <laughs> again. I'm so sorry for how I've treated you these last few missions. Misty, you just grab a reload. I, I need to kill this guy down here. No, I need to fire the pistol at him. I'm pretty sure um, Drake Ghost can actually finish off the mech. And if not, I will come in here with my goddamn, um, with my goddamn ghosted unit. This should not reveal the next squad. I, I checked, I checked. Never tell me I didn't. Okay, mech down. This guy needs to die. Fire pistol. Oh, I reloaded and can fire my pistol. Oh, I was standing there the whole time. Of course I can reload and fire my pistol. Misty! Do it up. Who's keeping score? Nobody. Nobody is keeping score. Now, will this whole building burn down, or can I actually use it for um for high ground here? I definitely want to get here, and I think I want to just stand Kareem on top of that roof. Stock, advanced data pad, and advanced focus. Advent data pad, I should say. Whoa! I sent his body a tiny bit flying. So I don't have vision from here at all. I'm pretty sure that is how it works. Okay. 
Lovely. You have a lovely flank shot, but I don't want you to take it. Instead, I just want you to head up here and see exactly what we're dealing with. This might be the last squad in the game, and I might be able to take them out with all snipers. Okay, this actually does give me vision. This does not. I'm actually going to move here, though, and get a... I could have probably gotten two heals together if I needed to on that turn. At least heal yourself. You need it. You've done good good work, Drag. Every time you're out, you do good work. 5 HP healed. 100 on that serpent, huh? I want you to move up here. Get that Overwatch penalty down a little bit. And you should not get vision if you move up by one. But you should be able to get a reload. No vision? No vision. Okay, so move up by one. Just want to... I know it's not much of a difference, but I want to eliminate that Overwatch penalty as much as possible this turn. And he needs to reload. So you're actually going up to this corner to get your reload done. Oops. Meant to actually hit R there, not Y. I said R. Where's your reload? Why isn't it happening? Rock and roll. Shortcut keys aren't working properly. Zero to ten. Would not play again. Let's um just go Overwatch here. Eyes on the prize. Okay, so this group is not moving at all. There are two Vipers in it. Interesting. So you Overwatch. Roger. You only have the one shot from here? And it's... Why do you only have one shot from... Oh, okay, never mind. You have all the shots. It's for some reason telling me the pistol odds. Okay, you overwatch. Your shots are not great, but you know, take what you can get. You're gonna start this, this whole thing out. And you're gonna stay in reserve. I say I start with the 93 here. I know it's a less of less of a chance to actually get the kill, but it's still pretty high, and it would kill the guy in the back, who's going to be the hardest for everyone else. Oh shit! It missed. Okay, well, you know it was a one in twenty chance ish, but can't complain. I can complain, and I'm going to complain. Okay. What happened to my other overwatches? What happened to... Natürlich. No, I was not supposed to overwatch her because she doesn't break concealment with everyone else so she doesn't actually join in in the overwatch. I am an idiot. Ha 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 ha. Oh, well, the second her concealment is broken, she will take a shot and she probably will get a kill. Did Drake just get a promotion earned? Yeah! A three! Dodge! God damn it! God damn the Vipers! Okay. I don't think they ever fire at bound units. Maybe I'm wrong, though. Okay, I that's actually kind of weirdly ideal. Like, I can deal with this easily. Because I have all my snipers in position. So I think how this is going to work for me is I'm first going to go with um, Misty here. And you're going to take the shot to free... Oh, I kind of thought this would work. Ah, oh, there we go. Take the shot to free um, Dreg, which is a 100% chance. What, what are your actual chances? Low cover minus 20. Wait, I get minus 20 for low cover? So in high cover, I get plus... I get, really? That is weird. Okay, so I should stay in high cover, apparently, with my snipers. Oh my god, these dodges. I only scratched them. Shouldn't matter, though. Um, next move, you are going to attack... Really? That's your chance? 
You're gonna move right here. And then kill this guy? With your shotgun, come on, do it up. Oh, fucking thank God, I'm done with these goddamn grazes. Then I'm gonna try to get the kill with um, Day or Juggernaut here. Just, you know, to get a, get a level, get some levels evenly dispersed since Drag already leveled up. I think that's everyone. Yep, there we go. Got it. I would not call that excellent. Five of my soldiers are wounded. That is most of my soldiers. Like, there's so many of my soldiers that I'm not sure if I will have a full squad ready for the next, um, next encounter. If that happens, I will need to take rookies with me. I don't want to take rookies with me. I don't have enough gear to take rookies with me. Oh, that turned out so badly. Why didn't I focus down that mech? I just disabled it. I just disabled it. Okay. Okay, keep 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 calm, carry on, you know, all that jazz. Spout dank memes as often as you can. It's a rule of the internet. Everybody will hate you for it, but you'll get subscribers anyways. <laughs> Although I got to say, keep calm, care keep calm blank. That meme is no longer dank if it ever was. Lightly wounded, one lightly wounded soldier is not bad. Two lightly wounded soldiers. Okay. You know, that's not too horrible. You're going with Deadeye, cause, um, or Lightning Hands, because Deadeye is kind of shitty unless you have, like, the best aim. We have our first captain, who will take Threat Assessment, I think? Grant, yeah. Um, this grants Overwatch when you use, um, when you use the Aid Protocol, and increases its cooldown by one turn, but I don't use it that often per thing anyways. I actually got two captains. Oh, you're gravely wounded? Um, kill zone is definitely what you want. Take a reaction shot against any enemy that moves or attacks within a cone of fire. Yes, I will take that. Okay, got a stock, an advent data pad, and advanced focus, which would be great if I were, were doing some psionics right now. We're getting thin on manpower, Commander. We should check with Resistance HQ for new recruits. Okay, so I have decent intel, decent supplies, lots of alloys and delirium. One available. Okay, what, what? how are my soldiers doing? How many days do they have? One, three, one, three. And five. So I'll have a party together pretty soon. And I, I'll keep the supplies in order to hire some more rookies if I need to. My advanced warfare center is staffed right now. I could really use another fucking, um, another fucking, uh, what's it called? You know what it's called. I forget what it's called. Um, another engineer. I can grab another gremlin, but that doesn't actually help me. New combat tactics. I need to get the new squad size. Yeah. A scientist. I'll go for a scientist. I need an engineer though, man. Give me my engineer. I need him so bad. I need him so bad. Okay, aliens, um... Placing Faceless in the Populace for a month. That is not too horrible as long as I'm cautious about it. Avatar Project taking up one. By the way, even if it reaches full, it's not a big deal. They still give you like 40, 72 hours to move it down after that. And I have like this two pip or three pip um, Avatar facility right now. These findings will likely prove crucial to our ongoing efforts, Commander. I wanted that intel. I know it was probably not actually a good idea. Next, I will go with, um... I'll just do some Knowing autopsies. That my past surgical experience is limited. I am sure the crew appreciates that I hone my skills on fallen Advent forces before triaging our own wounded. To the uninitiated, 
the common Advent Trooper is seemingly human. The aliens have disguised its most glaring divergence from the human form with a carefully designed helmet. This actually gives me battle scanners, and I would love some battle scanners, especially since it reveals mimics or um, faceless. Probably a good thing to have considering the current. Oh, I, I wanted to listen to you, man. Keep talking. Okay, plasma grenades are done. I don't think I need to buy them. I think literally item upgraded. Yep. A concussive grenade augmented by alien pulse, pulse tech. The plasma grenade does more damage than the standard frag grenade and is more effective at shredding enemy armor. And I can actually now do the advanced explosive project which affects all my explosives. Looking fantastic. I have made a number of interesting discoveries, Commander. Despite a thorough analysis, I have yet to discover okay. one. If any advantage, the Advent hybrid soldiers... The turrets we see employed by Advent throughout their various facilities and security checkpoints are automated, much in the same way the alien mechanized units are. A significant amount of time was likely spent developing the optical sensors and targeting system, which I expect Shin will want to thoroughly examine following the disassembly process. I actually just remembered what this research gives us, and I do not want to do it. So I'm going to actually go to the um, Viper Autop... No, uh, Shield Bearer Autopsy. No. Yeah. Alien Encryption? Ah, oh, why the hell not? Let's do it. We've already dedicated considerable resources. No, you've dedicated no resources. Can asshole. However, we can move on to something else if you'd prefer. I'll ensure that this new project takes highest priority, Commander. Once we have something to report, I'll notify you immediately. Okay, Avatar Project still ticking up. That's all right, though. Again, I have lots of time. The aliens continue to make progress on lots of time. Project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. Did this by any chance add a pip to that? No. Got it from elsewhere. Got an urgent communication coming in for you now, Commander. You have made considerable progress against the aliens over the past month, Commander. I hope that your ongoing efforts will only lead to further Okay, so I'm success. gonna want to get rid of the alloy padding. I'm going to not even check the hidden event, just for fun, and I'm going to investigate. Absol- whoa, 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 investigate the supply drop. Wait, no, cancel. Finish this. Get my scientist. Irene Adler, why do I keep getting her as a scientist? It's really funny, okay. Look at her, look at Irene Adler. <laughs> Avenger plotting new course. And then I'll check to see if I can buy an engineer for Intel maybe? I would buy an engineer for Intel in a split goddamn second. Oh God, new missions. An engineer and 92 Intel, abso fucking lootly. Launch the mission, launch it right now. Do I have enough people? I think I probably do have enough people to, to staff a party. Yes, I have them. And Ignorant Winter's back. Ignorant Winter's back and Ignorant Winter is getting some fucking badass shit. Actually, um, first of all, let's, let's make utility items available. Um, you are getting rid of your gas grenade because that is not going to you. You are grabbing a double gas grenade. Actually, maybe double plasma is better than one gas. It's just, just because the plasma is new and it does a lot of damage and blah 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 blah. Um, do have myself a medic, or at least somebody who can use med kits at range, I think. Maybe he can't. I think I went with combat protocol. Um, another grenadier. My main sniper is missing, so I'm actually going to grab the Talonrens. I'm sorry about not giving them to you, Day, but I'm giving them to my highest ranked officer. It makes sense. You are definitely getting the Mimic Beacon. And I'm going to build items here really quick because there's no reason A, not to have the advanced grenade launcher, and B, oh, I don't have enough for battle scanners. 30 supplies, 
God damn it. My exosuit's done in one day. Either way, I now have the advanced grenade launcher, which launches further and I think also has a larger blast radius. Difficulty is difficult, but it's time for me to get going. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please do like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.